Hey everybody, welcome back. Oh god. Why is my frame rate crap all of a sudden? What is going on? There it goes. That was weird. For some reason my frame rate was just shit. I don't remember if I checked this room or not. The bathroom. I did not. Author Magazine. Stephen King uses this typewriter. The blank page. How 20 top authors conquer it. I guess Daddy's got some writer's block. And aids. Backs. I guess that's supposed to be like an HX equivalent. There's no light in this bathroom. Oh, there it is. Alright, let's uh, continue on and explore the rest of this first floor here. Alright, I guess we won't because it's locked. <laughs> uh, I guess we have to go upstairs now. The creepy upstairs. What was that? Controlled burn scheduled for Boone County. Ah, highlighted her name. How fucking conceited is that? <laughs> Boone County. Plumes of smoke will rise above the northeastern region of Boone County over the better part of next week as part of a forestry... That light just lit up over there. I guess that was lightning. It scared me for a second. Uh, as part of a forestry service run controlled burn of overgrown sections of the Flintlock National Forest. In addition to removing dead and overgrown vegetation that can lead to wildfires and drier months, the average will serve as a valuable training tool for the forestry and firefighting personnel involved, said senior conservationist Janice Greenbrier. They got a lot of playing cards in this house. Uh, that's a smoke alarm. <laughs> Weekly planner. Monday, couples bowling. Wednesday, cooking class. Take apron. Friday, bathroom dancing. Oh, ballroom dancing, not bathroom dancing. I guess it could be. Uh, I guess they canceled all of their ballroom dancing classes. Cook the big meal for Terry and Sam! Exclamation point! she canceled everything that involved her husband because he's gone cray cray notice of temporary personnel transfer Bruce Pendleton date in the upcoming prescribed burn operation a ranger with expertise in procedure is being transferred to the station at Flintlock National Forest effective 9294 please see attached personnel file well, this is 1995. Why do they still have all these old fucking papers lying around? Like, not filed away anywhere? This is in random things. The overseeing officer is Mommy. Alright, got it. Brett Mobile. Potty mouth. <laughs> Or Sam. Oh, that's awesome. It fucking dings open. I like that. It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I'm gonna sit here and just listen to this. But being around Lonnie is like instantly just right. I gave her the grand psycho house tour. And took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know. I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape and said, You have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. Looks like Sam turned into a little bit of a lesbian. I guess this is Sam's room. It's really weird to keep saying Sam over and over when I am Sam. A 
the three ring binders in this house. I need to like read and shit, so. Adventure, Adventurous the Cat <laughs> returns. Uh, it's the second in the glorious Adventurous the Cat series. Ooh. Chun Li moves. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Kick, 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 kick. <laughs> That's awesome. Are these other games, like, real games that I've never heard of? They could be, but... I don't know. Wait, what was that one? Oh, that was Adventurous the Cat. Hi, Lonnie. I wrote this in first period and left it in your locker on the way to second. It's what all the cool kids are doing, I've decided. Uh, write me back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw. Two cats on a motorcycle. Yeah! Hey, this is a god good idea. What all the cool kids are actually doing is sending each other pages on their beepers. <laughs> beepers. But we're cooler than them because guess what? They can't put this on a beeper. Yeah. Your drawing of cats was so good that I added a background to make it even better. Maybe I should just stick to writing now. Ha ha! I like it. How did you know they were about to be abducted by aliens? I'm looking at Mr. Fish right now. I feel like he would probably have lots of cats. Also, like his secure shame, secret shame is he watches 90210 religiously. I'll ask him about it after class. He said he doesn't have cats, and also that he's never watched 90210, but I could see in his eyes he was lying. To <laughs> Lonnie. You, you crazy girl. Ah. Uh, combo to that. I want to believe. She is in X Files. Grab Steggy? Stelly? That's a nice touch. Steggy, duh. I haven't had that much to drink, Jody Foster. How many fingers am I holding up? Better not have been reading my secret diary again. Uh, here you go, Mitten. Have some pate. Gross. Meow. Or meow. <laughs> KSNC presents Juliana Hatfield. Social Distortion. Black Francis. Lisa Loeb. Mighty Mighty Bostones. Buck 09. Buffalo Tom. The Dandy Warhols. Black Offspring. Sonic Boom 94. May 7th. To Kelma Fairgrounds. I know Lisa Loeb is real. And the Mighty Mighty Boss Stones. So I assume the rest of them are as well. Oh, and Offspring. Man, Sam had this in like fourth grade. 
She kept it for all these years. Wait, what was that? The Bible. Did not expect her to be a religious sort. Mitten. Guess her cat died. Got your number. Are you going to the dance with anyone? Who's got a crush on you? Do you like sports? Would you introduce me to your friend? Are you busy Friday? So dreamy. Get your friends together. It's time to find out who has a big crush. Is it Matt from science class or Daryl from track? You'll never know unless you've got his number. I feel like I'm invading her privacy. Dog dunk! <laughs> Sam, I think the creative writing track would be perfect for you, Mrs. Blaylock. Or Blacklock. Summer pre college programs for young scholars. Reed College, one of the nation's most lauded, uh, blah, blah, blah. Three students from each track be offered a full scholarship for their first year at Reed. Damn. Explore. Learn. That is like, they nailed the fucking, like, pamphlets from colleges you get while you're in fucking high school perfectly. God, getting those things is the most annoying thing ever. All just from super desperate colleges that just need people. Nothing else cool here? The Misfits. Yeah. I like her taste in music. Lip balm. Lip stuff. <laughs> Above average hydration for your mouth. Parts. <laughs> We love your lips, baby. Groove. Exclusive. AIDS in Africa. Soul Asylum Live. Eddie Vedder Weezer. Veruca Salt wants it now. Some Veruca Salt, the chick from, uh, fucking Willy Wonka. I want an Oopa Loopa now. Max and Martine wanted for the murder of Straight Edge. March 1995. Can't grab that. Too bad. Kurt Cobain. Dead. Soundgarden. Tool. Rage Against the Machine. Yeah, again. I like her taste in music. She seems like a cool chick. I hope she's not dead or something. Whoa, her bedroom has two doors? Did I just hear somebody running or something? Or is that just the sound of me walking? Read sternly worded letter. To whom it may concern, I, Samantha Greenbrier, am 17 years old and am therefore an independent, fully functional human being. Oh god, teen angst. Am I right? The fact that you still forbid me from going into the city on my own is frankly absurd. Compare with Katie who is only three, three years older than me, and yet you allowed her to go all the way across an ocean to another continent on her own. I just want to spend an evening in a normal, totally safe city on my own, like a human being. And since you may also remember that I have my own car now, you can't really stop me. Warmest regards, your daughter, Samantha. God. Sam, stop leaving every damn light in the house on. You're as bad as your sister. <laughs> well, that would make sense if I hadn't been strategically turning off every light as I leave a room. <laughs> Daniel called. Daniel called again. He wants his Nintendo game back. Aw, they said we could keep it as long as we wanted. And frankly, he needs to stop playing so many, so I'm going to keep it. Can't take any of these books? All right. Danger. Wear goggles and rubber gloves when handling anything in this room. It's not something I would put on my fucking door. Hey Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? It came out last week. 
and Todd won't shut up about it. So either it's good or we can make fun of him for liking it. My mom is supposed to cook dinner for us. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Tonight for a change. But I can just ditch out on it probably. What time? Also, what the fuck was that? Also, isn't that movie supposed to be really violent? Am I going to barf? I can't believe you're going to skip out on that meal when I just looked at your mom's planner and she's been going to cooking classes all week. No, more than weeks. For like the past three weeks at least. And you're going to skip out on the meal that she's going to prepare after doing all that. What a slut. According to Todd, it is pretty hardcore. I guess Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle, so that's kind of hilarious. It wasn't a heroin needle, it was a fucking, like, adrenaline needle. Also, something about cheeseburgers is important. <laughs> Todd wants to see it again. 7.15, okay, don't barf. Ha 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 ha. Alright, see you then. Cheeseburger barfing. That's a pretty good picture. I keep thinking I'm gonna see something out of one of these windows. Lonnie rules. Oh, Lonnie. I need to find the combination to. What? A fucking bloody bathtub? Oh. Oh, thank God. They did that on purpose. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. That's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked in the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited. And the moment was gone. Damn. Yeah, she really is a lesbian. <laughs> Damn, this place has been fucking ransacked. Earth, Wind, and Fire, and Willie Nelson. Dear Mom, Dad, and Sam, I am in the channel! This is my second passage through the channel! I'm on my way back from London, this time going to Brussels, Belgium. Sorry I didn't write you on the way to London, but I was too excited about the channel! London was great. Dad, I know you've always wanted to visit, and I think you really should. You'd love it. If you all wanted to come back here as a family sometime, I guess I could be convinced. Love you all, Katie. Hmm. I wonder whose room this is. I'm guessing it's Katie's room. Our room, rather. Somebody's been looking for something in here. The amount of high-res textures in this game is astounding. I mean, you don't see that in games anymore. That's creepy. Why are there all these connections for, like, shit everywhere that we can't use? Butch Cassidy and the Sudden James Kid and The Fugitive, both good movies. All the President's Men, another good movie. Uh, Inside Edition, May 24th, okay. Jeopardy, Uncle Har Harvey. Uncle Harvey was on Jeopardy? Damn, Sound of Music. Ugh, I hate when my mom makes me watch that with her. And, uh, something Family Reunion. Uh, Dawn with the Wind. Watch that. Bridge on the River Kwai, Silence of the Lambs. All excellent movies in in this game. 
and excellent music as well. I like the taste these people have. It could also be just, you know, growing up at the time where this is set, I just know all of these things. Mitten. Mitten. Our cat, Caitlin, age five. Oh, Caitlin. Ew, look at those granny panties. Timberline Booksellers. Walt Whitman, Leaves of Grass. Seeing, hearing, feeling are miracles, and each part and tag of me is a miracle. What a vagina. Dear Jan, Ah, oh, honey, let me tell you, I understand how you feel. Bob and I have had our down periods. Uh, I guess this is where the mom has been sleeping. This isn't our room. Bob and I have had our own down periods. It's become a bit of a way of life, actually. Dot, dot, dot. You get used to each other. You live your own lives in the same house. Kids grow up, they go away. I'm sorry, this isn't helping, is it? Don't worry. Terry will get over whatever's distracting him. Things will go back to normal. And as for Sam being distant, it's a teenager for you. Nothing to worry about. In the meantime, though, this controlled burn, that sounds like... What is that? Quite the adventure. Well, let's cut to the chase. This new ranger they sent? That's what I wanted to hear about. Ranger Rick? You have to be kidding me. It's too perfect. You have to tell me everything. And send pictures. I want the whole package. Wait, that sounded wrong. <laughs> oh, Carol. She's terrible at drawing hearts. Keep your chin up until Terry is out of his slump. And in the meantime, write me letters to your old friend Carol. She adores them. Ugh. That mom is hideous. She looks like uh, fucking the Joker. Like fucking uh, old Joker from the first live action Batman. God, what is that dude's name? Jack, Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholas. I always get Jack Nicholas and Jack Nicholson mixed up. I can never remember which one is the golfer. <laughs> Watercolor technique for forests and still lifes. Guess the mom has been trying to get a bunch of hobbies. Escapes from Ghost Mansion! Avoid the ghosts of Ghost Mansion and make your escape with your wits intact. The Widow, the Cowboy, the Brothers. A few of the shades you may encounter as you attempt to escape from Ghost Mansion. Toothpaste, hairbrush. God, that lightning scares me every time. Or thunder, rather. After the honeymoon, rediscovering your spouse, personality, spiritually, no, personally, spiritually, sexually, Reverend Alexander Michaels. Alright, well, that's Mommy's room. What the fuck? We'll get to that later. But we gotta explore all these other things. Katie, Mom and Dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer. But you came home on such short notice that you weren't around to do it. They weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. Sam. Did you run away from home? What a little bitch.
books. Miscellaneous. Hey Sam, you're asking what JROTC ribbons meant. Here's a handy guide. Orienteering. This means the army thinks I can find my way around. Rifle team. The army has branded me as a certified killing machine. Adventure training. I'm a born adventuress and no borders can hold me. The army recognizes this. So if you didn't think it was cool before, now you do. Lonnie DeSuto. I guess that is the girl from that picture we found. Composition book. Samantha Greenbrier, Ghost Hunter Journal. August 31st, 1994. A tall shadow in the upstairs hall. When I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? Note, I was not wearing my glasses. <laughs> well, that probably contributed to that, but... September 3rd, 1994, 12.44 a.m. A faint voice came from the bottom of the stairs and said, Hello? Did not investigate. Probably was the furnace. Probably. September 9th, 1994, 4.11 p.m. Poured milk from carton and fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure I read that spirits can sour milk. Milk was just bought yesterday. <laughs> also, ghost milk. September 20th, 1994, 11.24 p.m. Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV room. I suddenly begin to feel cold. We build a protective pillow fort. Which is apparently still there even now in 1995. Unless they've been gone that long. October 1st, 1994, 11 to 12 a.m. Lonnie and I employ Ouija board as a medium. Disturbing messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. October 8th, 1994, 10 p.m. to October 9th at 4 a.m. Enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol premises, recording any signs of otherworldly presence. Lonnie reported many sightings, but all remained unconfirmed. Possible ectoplasm <laughs> and the probably leaky roof due to in attic, probably due to leaky roof. Sample taken just in case. Despite our best efforts, we both fell asleep around 4 a.m. All in all, a successful night. I like that. I remember back in the day when you'd be writing shit and you'd fuck up in like fucking elementary school and shit. And instead of fucking erasing shit or crossing it out, you just put a little carrot in. <laughs> That's all my shit in boxes. Fuck them. Alright, we're going to check out this room. And then I'll probably leave it there before we check out whatever the fuck is going on over there. Oh, there's another room there too. Let's turn on this lamp first. Examine form. Performance evaluation. Name Richard Pottermock. Supervisor Janice Greenbrier. Oh, it's Ranger Rick. <laughs> it's exemplary in everything. Oh, she's fucking having an affair. God damn it, Mom. Why are you doing that? Ranger Pottermock has been indispensable during the course of the prescribed burn preparation and execution. I believe his expertise and dedication has been the deciding factor and the success of a very complex and challenging conservation effort. In the opinion of the Flintlock Forest staff, Rick's contributions to daily operations have become essential to the outfit's continuing success. To this end, I will be formally submitting paperwork requesting his permanent reassignment to this facility. Wow. You are fucking Ranger Rick. Are you kidding me? Uh, there's gotta be a cassette around here somewhere. She got pretty good at those watercolors, I'd say. There it is. What the fuck is that? Uh. Halloween show!
the Misfits. Don't forget your costume. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, how do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. She up I and hugged she me. She could tell. Alright. I officially love this game. <laughs> Healthy choices, skills for a healthful life. That is impressive. Wait, what was that? Lonnie, holy crap! I was in the library and I noticed something in the corner and I found a secret passage! And it had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it? Oh my god, I've got to see this. We're skipping sixth. From the library... Closet in mom and dad's room. Huh. Alright. Captain Allegra and the first mate. Your costume, my costume? Hell. That's great. I guess Lonnie is the butch of the couple. Alright. It's getting real. There's a secret passage now. Still haven't found a combo to that. I'll go and read this. Sam's dark room. Do not enter if red lights are on. I guess this is where we will end it. And then I'll try to get up there into the attic. I don't know if I'll be able to open it or not. Hopefully I will. Uh, stick around and uh... <laughs> we'll see what's going on. Shit's starting to pick up. It's getting spooky. Learn a lot about the family. Uh, apparently Mom is having an affair with Ranger Rick. Uh, Sam is a lesbian and getting into trouble with Lonnie DeSoto. Uh, Dad is going crazy and like writing shit about his childhood and whatnot instead of writing reviews for electronics as he should because he's got severe writer's block so he can't write a follow-up to his books um, things aren't going well for the Greenbrier family but we'll find out definitively what has happened to them at some point in this game I hope if not I'll be disappointed uh, anywho thank you for watching uh, stick around I will definitely be going through the rest of this game, so that should be enjoyable. Uh...